Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Master Nightfall, which is the Insight Terminus. And the reason why I'm doing a Master is not everybody's going to have the ability or the time or whatever to farm Grand Masters. And while it's double Nightfall rewards, I thought I'd put out a Master which might be a little bit more palatable for people not able to do the Grand Master. Now, my Grand Master, which you can watch, it's on the channel. I done a pretty good run on the Grandmaster. I done on the Warlock, so I figured I'd switch up and do this on the Titan. We are using Sentinel. I am using Sentinel, not Ward of Dawn. I'm using Wish Ender, Truth Teller, and Threaded Needle. Uh, the most important things here, uh, one of the aspects, there we go, uh, Bulwark. That's a really important aspect to have on. The fragments are pretty important as well. You want Disc. You want the disc melee instead of the shield shield bash, uh, and you want vortex grenade. Uh, you can see all the fragments there. Solo operative really important. And even though we're using a grenade launcher, I'm not using weak weakening clear because that's not the purpose. We've got counter charge. Every time we stop a champion, we become charged with light, and we've got high energy fire. Now. Wish Ender obviously has intrinsic anti-barrier and it is really strong. Now I'm not sure, Solo Operative's probably got something to do with it, but I noticed when I done my Grandmaster run, which as I said, you guys can go and watch that on the channel. It was a little bit slower than this, I think it was 27 minutes for the Grandmaster. But uh, I used Wish Ender on there and the, the ball was one hitting all the red bars. Very, very strong. It was one hitting the champion as well, breaking the sh champion shield. Now, this kind of bug exists in this, this strike. You kind of have to wait there sometimes until you get the barrier, uh, the, the notification that the barriers of, of, of the champions have spawned in. Now, the reason why I used my grenade there is to empower the, the, the my melee, sorry, is to empower my grenade straight away. Now, that is because we are using uh, Chest of Innermost Light. And the reason why we're using Chest of Innermost Light is because Every time we use one ability, if we use another ability, what that will do is it will empower. And the empowerment means do more damage, so your barricade takes more hits, your melee does more damage, and your grenade does more damage. But it, it really increases the, the, the recharge rate of your other abilities. So for talking sakes, if you use your melee, then you use your grenade. Your grenade will now do more damage. But it will recharge the rate of your melee. If you use your barrier, once you've thrown your grenade, it will recharge your grenade as well. So, as you'll see here, throw your grenade. See there, I've got empowered, powered grenade. See how fast I'm getting my grenade back? That's because I put, I threw my grenade. Then I used another ability, which is the barrier. And now I've got my melee and my grenade. And because I've got 100 resounds, I've almost got my barrier back. And because I've thrown my melee, now I've got my grenade back. So we're piggybacking off of our use one ability to empower the other two. And then when you use that another ability, it gets the recharge rate of the button. You get what I'm saying. Use one to empower and recharge faster the other ones. That's kind of what I mean. Jeez, I almost tied myself up there with that one. Do one and, and, and then and then it's another one with a thing. So as you see, you'll see Wish Ender's power kind of here. We're gonna break this shield. Look Wow, well, you won't actually because I'm gonna use the threaded needle. Nice one, Mondo. Well done. The Wish Ender, if I remember right, because I've done this run a couple of days ago, but I wanted to let the GM have a chance. Just, you know, I didn't want to put this one out and people say, oh there's a master out and not watch the GM. Which kinda happened anyway. <laughs> But uh, the, the, the point is, I think the Wish Ender, if I remember rightly, it hits for... Because the Wish Ender hits three times. It hits once going in and twice coming out. So you see there, we, on, on just red bars, we were doing about 23. I think it's like 30 odds on a master, on a, on a, on a champion. It's crazy damage. And there'll be a few champions we're going to take out just using the Wish Ender, no heavy. Now, Nightfall wanted the... the, the the, the modifier that's going to stay on the Nightfall is because the, they change. There's a modifier near the end of the modifiers that changes daily. There's three that it switches between during the week. But the modifier that will stay all week is Famine. That's why I kind of don't use my my uh, threaded my threaded needle all the time. I am trying to use uh, trying to use my uh, 
my wish end up more. Now you see there, obviously when we put a barrier up, we're obviously going to get uh, an overshield from the barrier. But the other thing it does is it increases the damage of our melee. Now, part of that is because of the animal's light. Part of it, you see there, what we're going to do is stop both of those uh, barriers, uh, unstoppables. And then I can hit both of them with the threaded needle. Yeah, so part part of that the extra melee damage when you put it down will be because of Heart of Innermost Light. But also, the the the, the fragment, I think it's bu the Bulwark fragment, uh, increases melee damage. It makes all your melees when you've, when you've got an overshield. Yep, while you've got an overshield, uh, your grenade charges faster, which is really good because that buys in with Heart of Innermost Light. But your... Uh, melee range and damage is increased and and final blows with your melee extend the overshield the timer on the overshield which is really good so this section here this is where really the only until you get to the boss this is where the only strategy is for the grandmaster but here basically what i'm going to do is just kill everything as fast as possible because we're not taking nearly as much damage as we are on the grandmaster you can be more aggressive so when at, right from the start you'll get that champion right at the start you come here we took out the we, we took out the ads that were coming on the right hand side take out the the sniper uh the the the, the, the ads and then you deal with the champion and then that's it so we do all that from there i put down my overshield my barrier to get my overshield so i, I would always have an overshield i would be fine there then we move up We've got to get uh, we've got to get the boss Cargan to move. Now, what I'm going to do, I put this too close, but if you put this barrier slightly back, all the ads that come out of there will get blinded by your barrier. Unfortunately, they didn't because I put it too close to the opening. You see there, I threw a, I basically what I done was I put put my barrier down in front of that the first opening, uh, and what that done was. Uh, it was supposed to blind any ads coming out, but I had it too close. So when they when they actually spawned out of there, they'd spawned the other side of the barrier. So move it back a touch from there. Just take out these snipers on the side that you started on, and then clear the rest of the red bar and yellow bar ads from here because you will have an unstoppable. Once you get there, there's a couple of more ads. Once you get this unstoppable down, then the ads will appear on the other side. So I'm just going to use threaded needle just to get them down, finishable. Now, when you stop a champion, my suggestion would be uh, don't, once you stop a champion, don't don't start firing another ad. Because remember, you're going to get a charged with light uh, buff when you stop a champion. If you start firing at other ads and you kill another ad, you will lose your charge with light. What you want is you want all that charge with light just to go on the boss. Charge of light will give you 20% until you kill an enemy and then you'll lose so we've killed uh, as is the same with the Grandmaster, same with you know all the all the incarnations of the strike. Uh, when you kill the unstoppable on the main section, you will then get uh, a champion over this side. We just him. You see how how he was kind of dazed after we happened. All all the kind of charges that you get in the game, they kind of do the same. They'll apply something to the ad, uh, the void ch uh, charges that you get in Pet Heresy, the orbs you get from killing the three kind of majors, the wizard and the the, the knight and all that. Uh, they they uh, they suppress. So we're just that's that's the main barrier. I'm getting sidetracked here. That's the main barrier because, right, so the barriers come out from the sides, both times. So you know the rotation, you come into this area, there's a whole bunch of ads. You kill your barrier champion and you go across and you activate Cargan. Once you've activated, that's going over right at the start of this, this section. That's going over the other side. Once you activate Cargan, on the, because there's two different sections. On the first section, you will get one barrier that will spawn over, over here and an unstoppable and a bunch of ads once you've killed them a, a barrier will spawn back where Cargan was so that's the once you kill all those and then you plant because the unstoppable drops an orb once you do that uh, 
that's the first wave. The second wave, which is the wave we're on now, you get two barriers this side and an unstoppable, and you get two barriers over by you know once you kill once once you kill the unstoppable, and you'll see here. Uh, I actually forgot about it because I was that focused on the barrier. You now get another wave of ads. So we're going to get another wave of ads. But because I've invested, I'm just going to kill this barrier using my super. Now, that was my bad. I forgot about the other wave of ads. But this is why we've got the super. Because you get a considerable bit of damage resist while you're in your super. Just kill him with the heavy because we've got it out. And that's all the ads gone. We didn't have to go and run away. Just be wary. When you kill that unstoppable and you bring the orb up close to the center, what will happen is when you bring the the the, the, the orb close to the center, the barrier will spawn. You've got to bring that orb up to the center before the barrier spawns. Just kill him quickly. If you don't touch the orb when you kill the barrier, the fuck that that barrier, the second barrier in the second wave, the one we not the one that drops in the center. Right? Am I confusing myself? Am I confusing you guys? Second wave, when you come over here, you'll have two barriers and an unstoppable. Once you've killed the two barriers, then you kill the, the unstoppable, this orb will appear. Another wave of ads will spawn. Don't touch the orb, leave the orb, and then kill the wave of ads when you bring this orb close to the center then you will get uh you, that uh, that barrier that spawns in the middle and then you'll have these you'll have these ads here and you'll also have you'll have these ads here and then you'll also have uh two barriers this side now once you kill those barriers uh you'll put this you'll put that in there and then you'll throw that Throw that grenade over there. Jobs are good. And there you go. Wow, that was a long explanation. Two waves of ads is the main thing. After you clear the initial wave of ads that's there when you get there, once you activate Kargan, you get two waves of ads, and they're both the same with escalating amounts of champions. Barriers especially. You'll have one in the main area, and then one over by Kargan in the first wave, two in the main area, two over by Kargan in the second wave. But once you pick... Once you kill the two main barriers over on the main side, once you bring the Unstoppable's orb close to the center, then you get that drop pod coming in with a third barrier over on that side. Yeah, that was really... That was a long explanation. <laughs> I made that a lot longer than I wanted it. So, that is really where... And, and you can see we didn't really strategize too much. We just went backwards and forwards. Uh... This is a Void Burn, so 25% additional Void damage done by you, 50% incoming. But I have to tell you, the majority of ads are going to do Arc. So have Arc Resist on, right, with maybe an Energy Diffusion sub, uh, Substrate, which is the Artifact mod, just to get that 5, 6, whatever, 7% additional damage resist against everything. Void is Void. You know, there's only a couple of big ads that do Void. And and if I'm being honest, I'm not sure, you know, Void resist. I'm not sure how good it would be against them. So when you come in, the idea is, as, as I'm sure you're aware, you have to kill... You have to capture plates. When you first get in here, you're going to have a bunch of ads that are going to come in. Kill them. Capture the middle plate, and that brings Cargan, who is the boss, into play. Now, what we're doing now, this is what I like to call the boss strategy. There's a boss strategy. For this boss fight, there's a boss strategy, and there's a plate strategy. They are not the same. When you're fighting the boss, and only the boss, you'll get other ads. But these the areas I'm going to now, and this is the first wave of the boss fight, right? You, you can go here, and you can put some stuff on them, right? You can use your... You can use your threaded needle. You see here, he will duck away. He will uh, do a bit of movement. Once the ads start kind of getting up, this is what you'll do when the ads are... are uh, when the ads are 
are kind of piling up. As you, this is your safe spot. Now, the reason why I say ads and boss uh, enemies, boss enemies don't push. Play enemies do push. So, don't confuse one with the other. Boss enemies, you won't get dogs and you won't get gladiators. Right? And they are the ads that... The, the ads will push an increasing uh, distance. So the dogs will push as far up as the plate in front of us. The gladiators will push all the way to the back. They'll come all the way after you. But they won't come to the sides. So, stands to reason, your place to do your damage when, when the gladiator is your safe spot is, is the, is the back, back side. So, as you can see here, what I'm doing... I'm not too bothered because I've got my super. There's a bunch of play ads coming. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I just want to capture this plate. Now that, I've, now that I'm on it. So I, what I'm doing is as soon as the boss went off, I don't really care about trying to keep the ads at bay with, the, with, my, with my melee. What I done uh, with my blinding nade, what I done was I just took this middle plate, popped my super and just took it. And, you know, and, and, and we'll deal with the consequences afterwards. And as you can see, is the, the quickest way to do it is if, especially when you pop your super, quickest way to do it. It's unfortunate for him, he thought he could run through my barrier and still do damage to me. Strange boy. I just throw my grenade, take those uh, two gladiators hopefully out. See, they've gone through my barricade, which has kind of blinded them anyway and stopped them. So now they're going to take maximum damage from the grenade because it's slowed. Uh, so the idea here is when you get your first... Now, you see, that they were, we got plate ads there. Unfortunately, I killed a legionary, which uh, not advisable. Uh, what you'll want to do is you'll get legionaries. Those void shielded legionaries. You'll get those. You will get dogs, and you will get uh, void shielded incendiaries. You can see what I'm doing now. It's exactly the same as I've done the GM. I get onto the plate. I use my blinding grenade launcher to control the ads. And now, I'd actually killed one of the legionaries. So the the idea is capturing these plates. So if you haven't seen the Grandmaster. I, w I would say the Grandmaster, I actually kind of had to watch what I was doing, so it's probably a better example, because this is a master, I, w I wasn't really, like, taking it serious, if you like, I was just, like, trying to do it, not breakneck speed, but the speed part of it was more important than the strategy. When you get your ads, you'll get gladiators, you'll get dogs, Avoidance, Void Shielded Incendious, and four Legionaries. The Legionaries are the key to capturing these plates. If you can keep the Legionaries alive, like there, and keep them blinded, no other ads will come one, as long as these Legionaries are alive. So to stop them pushing me on the plate, I'm constantly blinding them. So I'll throw that need. And the idea is, once I get... So much of the plate captured, you see here. I never get got as much as I wanted. Just get the kill before you can land. Get the blinding need out. I've caught it. I've captured the plate. The idea is, if you keep those those uh, four legionaries alive, no other ads will spawn until you capture that plate. So the idea is, you blind the ones that are alive until you capture the plate, or until you've got half the plate captured. Then you can kill them. And you'll have the plate captured before the, the plate adds, which is your legionaries and your dogs and void incendiaries, before they come in. And then you rinse and repeat using the same strategy per plate. So now what we're going to do, so you do that for each plate, rinse and repeat. The safe sections at the back here are behind this kind of rock, we're talking about capturing the plates, behind this rock, on the right and the left, there are uh, openings that take you to the other plates. They are the places that the... Because the only ads that will come all the way to the back are the gladiators. But they won't come to those openings right right and left. 
So what I'm doing, I'm just burning my supper here. Watch out for the void streams. So you see there, the, the super isn't really a boss damage super. I just throw my grenade. Just took a lot of damage there because I took I took a chance going out there with the super. The grenade and the threaded needle is more than enough. So yeah, what when when you're defending from the gladiators, what you're wanting to do when you're defending from the gladiators after you've captured a plate, that section just there to the right, that's where you want to go. They won't come over to those sections. And then when you, once you've captured all three plates, just rinse and repeat that, that for each, for each plate. And then this becomes your, your safe zone because no ads will come back here. The only thing that could possibly hit you back here is the boss's attack. Now, how you get away from that is don't stand right up against the rock. I said, well, I'm saying the boss attack. Also, the, the, the ads have got, um, wrist a wrist mounted grenade that can stick on the back wall to the sides if you see that it comes up like a little grenade symbol when it's near to you see that just move out the way if you get hit by the boss's attack and it fires you up in the air you will not take any damage from it it's when you cross the streams so be careful of crossing the streams because that's void damage 50 percent extra you could take a bit of a melt. And as you can see there, I've got, I got uh, a couple of shotguns, I've got two Ascendant Shards, all the good stuff. So if you can't do the GM, the Master, is very easy to farm. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you get a farm on and get some good stuff. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Those are questions for another day, I suppose. But for now...